The divine immaculate consommé was invented right here, so I'm going to show them how to make it properly. I've come to Alcantara in western Spain. Yes, Spain, let me explain. Here's the immaculate, divine and perfectly executed bowl of consommé. And here's a rather ordinary, murky soup that they pass off as consommé here in the province of Cáceres, Extremadura, Spain. Quite alright, but not what most of us would call a consommé. The local approach is a bit uninspiring, but I've started to crave a proper consommé, a clear, sophisticated French one, so I ditch all notions of local authenticity and get to work. In France, you start with a bouillon, usually a bouillon from the pot au feu that you'd have ready-made. So it's just a question of clarifying it with uh, egg whites and intensifying it with ground beef. But today we're making the bouillon, the broth, from scratch. A garnish of tiny diced vegetables and classically finished with a drop of fino sherry from Spain. Yay! I did say that consommé was invented here and I'll explain, but let's just get the uh, pot au feu broth going first. Meats and bones covered with water and brought very slowly to a simmer. Remove all the froth that rises and chuck it in the river. Tajo. Simmer for an hour and a half, skimming off froth and fat regularly. So according to local accounts during the Spanish War of Independence in 1809 or thereabouts, a collection of recipes, including one for the consommé as well as a, a simple French omelette, uh, was stolen from this monastery and taken, taken to France and sort of passed off as their own. A French omelette? This really is getting hard to believe. After an hour and a half of gentle simmering, the vegetables, herbs and spices join the meats and bones. Simmer for a further hour and 30 minutes. Alcantara's other claim to fame is the tallest Roman road bridge in the world, built in 106 AD and still carrying traffic today across the river Tajo, just before it reaches Portugal. The broth is strained and often the meats are kept for other preparations. Watch this space. The soup is flavorful and excellent as is, but it still needs to be intensified and clarified to reach perfection and to qualify as a consommé. And here's what we need. Finely diced or julienne tomato, celery, leek and carrot. The liver, if using, is finely diced by hand. Mix all this really well with the egg whites and season with salt. Stir in the appropriate amount of broth. And keep stirring it as it gradually comes to a simmer. The constant stirring will enable the egg whites to catch hold of all the impurities, eventually forming a floating coagulated raft. As the raft starts to form, stop stirring. Once you see an eruption on the side of the pan, turn down the heat to minimum and form a little gap through which the bubbles can rise. Adjust the position of the pan on the flame a little to the side. It's important that the bubbles only break through at one spot on the edge of the pot. Simmer for 40 minutes to an hour. Diced vegetables, carrot, turnip or potato, peas and celery are blanched in salted water until just tender and cooled immediately in cold water to stop the cooking. Strain the broth through a sieve lined with a cloth taking care not to disturb the raft. Et voilà, as clear as light tea. So clear that I can see my whole kingdom reflected in it, said Louis XIV. About as believable as the one about Louis XV inventing onion soup. Check out that story here. Adjust the seasoning and a drop of sherry to taste. And there we have the most elegant soup known to man, served at the soup's very place of origin. <clears throat> Links to the recipes for French onion soup and the classic pot au feu mentioned in the video are in the description. And please do like the video if you enjoyed our visit to Alcantara in Cáceres, Extremadura, Spain. Hasta luego!